hi there once again welcome to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use the rank function in excel so in this tutorial i'll show you how you can easily use rank function to rank students so i'm going to demonstrate with my data over here i have a list of students 10 students over here and i have their percentages and their total so based on their total i'm going to show you how you can rank and then you know who is exactly at the first position Remember you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. Want this tutorial to the end in order to get every tidbit, every details from this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can use the rank keyword in order to rank the student. So the first thing you need to do is to use the equal to sign and use the rank and type the word rank. So this is what we're going to go with. So when I select the rank keyword, you can see that we have three arguments so if the first is the number the reference and then the order so which number are we going to rank so we are going to rank it against the total so when i select the total this way the next thing is going to be i'll bring the comma when i bring the comma we are going to use the referencing so we're going to reference this number against the total over here so the total column we are going to compare this against this we are going to rank it against so i'll drag across the entire total column in this order so this is exactly what i want and the last option is the order i'm going to leave that for now and then explain after the calculation so when i when i close this bracket and then I hit the enter key you notice it's telling me that fred is at what third position okay so what next do i need to do i need to first click here this formula i need to make sure i lock the reference in okay I'm going to lock the reference because I want it to run. I want it to run through. So I'm going to lock this reference by selecting where I'm comparing it to. I'm comparing it to the total column. So I'm going to lock that reference by pressing the F4 on your keyboard. The function F4. And I'm going to apply the dollar sign. Meaning those columns have been locked. So no matter how long I go, it will be compared to the total in that order. So I've locked that particular column okay when i hit enter nothing changes but i can click on the dot now and then drag and we can see from our list we know who is at the first position so we've been able to rank this record now and we see timothy to be ranked at one the second we can see two which is matter okay you can highlight it and then see what is going on select this column timothy is at number one so this has been ranked let me show you something over here. so when i click and generate my formula like i said the third option is it. by default so when i bring this comma here by default this record has been ranked in descending order so assuming i want to rank this in ascending order i'll just bring the comma key and then select ascending from here so when i hit the enter key right now you notice that now Freddy's has, has been ranked at number 8. When I drag this down, Timothy's has been ranked the highest, having what? Ranked number 10. And the lowest is John. So from the total, you could see John is what? Having 290. And from the list over here, 290 is the lowest. So John, John has been ranked the lowest. Timothy has been ranked the highest. And Martha has been ranked the second highest. So basically, this is how to rank if you want to leave it in a descending order from one the person who had the highest to be at one you can leave it at default leave it this way and when i drag the highest person will be ranked at number one and i think that is the best remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime you upload a new content so basically you can easily use this procedure to rank your student in a class after having grade after grading your student you can use this method to rank them and know who score the highest who score the lowest in the order thank you for watching this tutorial remember to subscribe and share this video with friends and hit the like button as well and support me by sharing this video with friends till i come your way another time stay safe bye bye